Are you ready to dive into a world of scandal, controversy, and mystery? Join us as we uncover the thrilling story behind one of the most infamous paintings in history, John Singer Sargent's Madame X. Decked after the scandalous portrait was painted, and why did the painter flee the country in the aftermath? Let's find out. Madame X by John Singer Sargent is a captivating portrait of a stunning woman with a plunging neckline and a striking pose. It's a painting that has captivated the public's imagination for over a century. It tells the story of a woman who is both beautiful and tragic, and of an artist who is willing to push the boundaries of his craft. In fact, this masterpiece was the painter's attempt at making a name for himself, but what seemed like an opportunistic move ended up causing a scandal that forced John Singer Sargent to flee the country and destroyed the model's reputation forever. So what is it about this painting that caused so many problems? We're gonna start with the basics. This is the story of Virginia Amelia Anvango Gautro. Born in Louisiana to Creole parents, Virginia's father's untimely death during the Civil War left her family in dire financial straits. Her mother took out loans to keep their plantation afloat, but eventually decided to pack up and leave for Paris with her daughter. While it may seem like the move to Paris was a fresh start for the family, Virginie's story took quite a different turn. She was brought to the City of Lights to be married, and that's exactly what she did. At a young age, she married Pierre Gautreau, a wealthy banker twice her age, and quickly became a professional beauty, a woman who used her stunning looks to ascend the social ladder. She was striking and had many admirers, including American expatriate Edward Simmons. He once wrote, I remember seeing her, the noted beauty of the day, and could not help stalking her as one does a deer. Her head and neck undulated like that of a young doe. Every artist wanted to make her in marble or paint. Um, <laughs> gross. Anyway, the upcoming painter, John Singer Sargent, was no exception to her grace and beauty. He met Virginia around 1882 and was determined to have her sit for one of his portraits. He knew that a portrait of the socialite would garner much attention and hope for a subsequent career boost. Virginia eventually agreed, and they began the process of creating the portrait that would become Madame X. However, Sargent had no idea what he was getting himself into. Virginia quickly became disillusioned by the idea of sitting for long periods of time. And between her conflicting social engagements, tending to her daughter, and responding to her full domestic staff, she grew weary and distracted by the process. Sargent described her in his writings as the unpaintable beauty and hopeless laziness of Madame Gautreau. Despite the obstacles faced in its creation, the painting turned out absolutely stunning. Let's look at the painting now. With her body angled forward and her head turned to the side, Virginia excludes a commanding presence that is simultaneously enigmatic. Draped in a black satin dress adorned with jeweled straps that emphasize her cinched waist, she holds a black fan that almost seems to disappear into her dress. A sparkling wedding ring on her finger adds a subtle touch of elegance to the overall composition. Against a dark brown background that looks almost like fluffy clouds, Virginie's pale skin is highlighted, making her stand out even more. The lavender powder on her face accentuates her features, while the absence of powder on her ear reveals a delicate feminine side to her personality that is not often seen. Her stunning hairstyle, inspired by ancient Greek styles, is adorned with a small tiara in the shape of a crescent moon that symbolizes the Roman goddess of the hunt, Diana. So yeah, it's easy to see why this masterpiece is so mesmerizing. But back to the whole scandalous debacle. Sargent's attempt at discretion resulted in a portrait that sparked controversy and became an icon of scandalous art. In fact, his daring decision to keep Virginie's identity a secret backfired when the truth was revealed. The scandalous portrait, titled Portrait of Madame, caused an uproar at the Paris Salon in 1884, as everyone recognized her as Madame Gautreau. But why? The alluring pose and revealing neckline were deemed too sensual and aloof by society's standards. The ghostly complexion sparked rumors of arsenic ingestion to lighten the skin, while the straps falling off Virginie's shoulder pushed the painting into scandal territory. 
The painting became so infamous that approaching it at the expedition meant being bombarded with a chorus of explicitives. <laughs> Yikes! It still begs the question, why did the painting cause such a stir? Well, to put it simply, Virginia was a married woman whose bare shoulder and wedding ring were deemed too provocative for the time. But it wasn't just her scandalous appearance that had tongues wagging. Virginia was also a Creole woman in a Parisian society, struggling to climb the social ladder. The rumor mills went insane. Was this painting her way of making a name for herself? Or was it a genuine work of art? Critics were divided with some calling it a masterpiece and others bashing it as unflattering and affected. But no matter what they thought, the public couldn't stop talking about it and whispered about its scandalous reputation in polite company. The French critic Gustave Geoffroy wrote in his review, M. Sargent, in a portrait of beauty whom he just painted, has pushed vanity to the point of betraying the person in the most unflattering manner. One must see this painting to believe it. The head is a disaster, the attitude is affected, the arms are too long. Meanwhile, the American critic Willard Huntington Wright called it a tragedy of color, of design, of expression, of character, of line, and of soul. Later on, after speaking with Virginie more than hysterical mother, Sargent decided to repaint the strap on her shoulder to make it fit more comfortably. Unfortunately, the damage had already been done, and the painting received scathing criticism. The New York Times even claimed that Sargent's work was below his usual standard. They criticized the figure's pose as absurd, and the coloring as atrocious. The subject's natural beauty was lost under Sargent's brush, making her look like a caricature instead of the beautiful subject she was intended to be. The painting ultimately cemented this poor woman's reputation as a loose character woman, and the scandalous nature of the portrait was almost as bad as the label itself. So what happened after the whole painting meltdown? Despite the scandalous aftermath of Sargent's painting, Madame Gautreau decided to remain in France. Unfortunately, many of her high-profile friends abandoned her after the controversy. She still commissioned a couple more portraits, but they didn't cause the same stir as Sargent's painting, even though one of them had a similar style and pose. As she grew older, Madame Gautreau lived apart from her husband, and it's unclear what happened to her. She passed away at the age of 56 in Cannes, France in 1915. And what became of the painter and the genius behind this notorious painting, you wonder? While the painting may have destroyed Virginie's reputation, it had a lasting impact on the art world. Sargent's portrait was groundbreaking in many ways. He eschewed traditional portraiture techniques and instead created a composition that was both bold and modern. The pose and the clothing were unconventional for a portrait of a woman at the time. Sargent's use of color was also innovative. The dark background in the light dress emphasized the contrast between light and dark, which was uncommon in portrait painting. The way he captured the light on the skin and the fabric was masterful, and the painting's delicate handling of texture is a testament to Sargent's skill as a painter. However, the scandal surrounding Madame X also had a lasting impact on Sargent's personal life. He was so ashamed of the scandal that he fled to London, taking the infamous portrait with him. Although he had a successful career in Britain and in America, he never dared to make anything quite as bold again. In 1916, he sold the painting to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, asking them to maintain the women's anonymity. By that time, he had changed the title to Madame X. He left it saying, I suppose it's the best thing I've ever done. In spite of the initial backlash, Madame X went on to become arguably Sargent's most famous masterpiece. So perhaps it's wrong to say that the painting didn't succeed in its time. Instead, Sargent just happened to create Madame X in a world that wasn't quite ready for its daring beauty. Click on one of the two videos on your screen right now.